Welcome to Think Together's 2021 Lights On After School celebration. Lights On After School is an annual event sponsored by the After School Alliance to showcase and celebrate the importance of after school programs in the lives of students all over the country. At Think Together, we use Lights On to share with you all the tremendous impact that after school programs have on the students and families that we serve throughout California. I'm Leslie Martin, Director of Program and Operations for Think Together Southeast Los Angeles region, proudly serving the communities of Compton, Linwood, and Bellflower. Think Together is the largest nonprofit provider of after school grant funded programs in California. Annually, we reach nearly 200,000 students across the state with expanded learning, after school, early learning, and school improvement programs. We all know the last year has been hard, but Think Together has been there for our students and school partners, providing whatever support is most needed. Do you all remember all that we accomplished last year? The 700 online lessons that we developed to keep kids learning, thinking, creating, and socializing? And our learning hubs that were designed for kids that struggled with connectivity, including those with no internet access at home, including our foster youth and students experiencing homelessness. We also received generous support from our corporate and community partners, like the laptops donated by Broadcom for students in one of our Compton Elementary Schools. All of these programs were made possible because of your tremendous support and advocacy on behalf of after-school programs. And for that, we thank you. I can't say enough about the positive impact that Think Together has made uh, on our kids and their families. It's been a lifeline. Uh, we have a lot of family members who were already dealing with a significant amount of challenges this year. And when Think Together came on board, um, they were able to provide the closest semblance of a normal school setting that could have been provided under the quarantine uh, requirements and safety protocol established by the county and state health um, departments. Think Together, uh, more than anything, has just provided a great support for our families. If it wasn't for Think Together, um, a lot of our families that currently have students enrolled in the program, I don't know what they would do. I can attest to the fact that everything that we do with Think Together in terms of planning, program, physical activities, social and emotional, nutrition services, homework supports, every hub of activities that are offered in after school programs comes back to that, changing the odds for kids. There's a commitment level that is extraordinary, um, meeting our challenges and then celebrating our successes. My name is Jacqueline Aviles, General Manager of our newest Think Together region in Palm Springs, serving our students in our Coachella Valley communities. It's an exciting time for expanded learning providers as we enter what we at Think Together call the next phase of our after school and expanded learning field here in California. With additional funding supported by California's Expanded Learning Opportunity Program grants, more students than ever before will have access to Think Together programs as we become an integral part of helping students recover from the past year of devastating learning loss due to COVID school closures and distance learning. We know this year has the opportunity to be truly transformational for students. The California economy is getting stronger and legislators have looked to expanded learning organizations to offer that extra academic support to get students back on track. We at Think Together have rolled up our sleeves and are hard at work supporting schools, students, and families. Here's a quick peek at Think Together programs this past summer when we were finally able to see our kids again in person and our staff was thrilled.
Queen. Hi, my name is Maria Bolivar, Director of Program and Operations in our San Gabriel Valley region, serving students in the cities of Arcadia, Azusa, Chino, Baldwin Park, and Duarte. Think Together programs strive for a whole child approach to learning. So while our academic support wraps around what students are learning in the classroom, enrichment programs like coding, robotics, music, leadership, and clubs expand their knowledge and experiences as well. We also provide students with healthy living and athletic experiences that they may not have access to, including programs supported by LA84 and Soccer for Success, partners who seek to level the playing field for all of our students. This year, through a partnership with U.S. Soccer Foundation and Dick's Sporting Goods, we were able to distribute 15,000 pairs of cleats to Think Together students to get the kids outdoors and playing again after a long year of isolation to keep them healthy and happy. I am Nelson Guevara, quality assurance coach in our Santa Fe Springs region, serving communities of El Monte, La Puente, Pico Rivera, Norwalk, and Whittier. Programs, curriculum, and partnerships are all ingredients for after school success. But the real difference is in our site staff. Think Together program leaders, site leaders, and quality assurance coaches are there for our students each and every day when that final bell rings. It is the over 2,500 site leaders at Think Together who support students with their needs, and help them to envision bright futures of college and career. They are the leaders who are truly making a difference in the lives of our students. Uh, the students coming back to in-person program they felt excited to come back to school, finally get to see some of their classmates, um, and they were just happy for a different environment. Coming back in person, I would say is definitely adjusting for the students because they're used to being so closely connected, and now you know they have to be six feet apart, have their mask on, and just finding new ways where they could still build relationships with the students and still maintaining that distance even with ourselves. We don't know if students are receiving meals at home, just knowing that we're able to provide those little things for them when they go home, it feels good. It just makes us feel good knowing that we're, we're there, we're providing them with these resources that we don't know if they have them at home or not. We have a sixth grader and she came up to me one day and she told me like, Mr. Daniel, I just wanna thank you because uh, ever since I'm in Think Together, my teachers have been sending letters home to my parents telling them how, how good I'm doing now in school. I just feel like, I, I know what I'm doing. Now I don't feel stressed and overwhelmed. I have a safe place to come every day to do my schooling. I really wanted to work at Being Together because I like working with kids. I have two nephews at home and it's very um, rewarding to know that I can help them with their homework and also have fun with it. I put all my faith in Think Together. I grew up going to Think Together. I volunteered for Think Together. I I'm obviously, I'm employed with Think Together, and now I have my daughter in Think Together, and I hope when she gets older, maybe she'll volunteer as well, and hope, hopefully maybe work for the program, you never know. 
Just hearing uh, feedback from students in regards of how happy and content they are being here, it just brings a sense of accomplishment in the work that we've done. And it's just so satisfying know knowing that we are making a difference in what we're doing. Think Together believes in nurturing our staff and developing leaders for the future. Many of our site staff come from the communities that we serve. So in addition to providing best-in-class expanded learning opportunities for kids, we also provide career pathways for all expanded learning professionals. But more students served means the need for more staff. And we are looking for special leaders who want to make a difference in the lives of students. If you or someone you know are interested in applying or learning more about what it takes to be an after-school program leader, visit our career opportunities at thinktogether.org slash careers. I'm Pete Reyes, Senior Quality Assurance Coach for the Bay Area, supporting the cities of San Jose and Newark. While our focus today is after school and expanded learning programs, we cannot ignore the contributions to academic success from early learning and preschool programs. Studies show that children in lower income communities who experience early education are 75% more likely to stay in school and 40% more likely to attend college. Let's take a look at Think Together Early Learning. Did you know that when children play, they're also developing important skills that contribute to their cognitive, physical, social, and emotional well-being? Hello, and welcome to our Think Together classroom. I'm Miss Kidd, a Think Together Early Learning Master Teacher. For over 25 years, Think Together has been changing the odds for kids of all ages, starting with the very youngest. Thanks to grant funding, our programs are completely free. After experiencing our programs, Think Together preschool students showed marked improvement on early math skills like shapes, patterns, and operations. Think Together early learning programs prepare kids for kindergarten and beyond. Lessons vary from language development, literacy, social emotional development, and science. For more information about early learning programs and how to find a program near you, go to thinktogether.org slash early learning. Hello, I'm Rhonda Scott, proud general manager of our San Bernardino region, serving the communities of Colton, Rancho Cucamonga, Ontario, Rialto, Upland, and Victorville. Here we all are, back to after school, and it's great to be back in person with our students again. At Think Together, we work directly with our school districts to ensure we are supporting their needs and the needs of our students and families. That means sometimes staying flexible and collaborating on innovative solutions to meet the moment. Here's one story I hope you find as inspiring as I did. When our program staff went above and beyond to support our district partner to ensure kids would have meals in their program. I think the greatest challenge has been connection. Um, through a screen, it's been really difficult for kids to connect with one another and in their community. So I think that's been the biggest challenge. So it's been so nice for kids to be back here for Think Together and being able to see other kids that some of them have not seen for over a year and a half. I hope we will continue um, to have this partnership with Think Together so that we can continue to help kids as they deal with the learning loss. Um, to be able to get back on track as quickly as possible. And I think the partnership has benefited us both, and I think we will see kids accelerating their learning through Think Together and our district. So the food services program here in Cucamonga, um, I received a call from our general manager on a Wednesday prior to program starting on Tuesday. And basically, um, we needed food. We needed food to be able to move forward with programming. Um, and so we had done all this preparation for program and curriculum and, and all of those pieces that are needed, staffing, um, safety, you know, PPE. 
um, and then we found that there was no food. And so we had to um, come up with a plan to be able to make it happen so that we could continue programming um, here in, in Cucamonga. And the biggest thing was, you know, how are we gonna do it in such a short period of time? Um, and who are the people that we need to pull in to make it happen? It was a really crazy experience because we came from, you know, not having uh, any lunch or breakfast for them, but then, you know, the district and Think Together pulled together um, an excellent food program that the kids love. Think Together I worked with the district and we were able to you know, have all these great uh, restaurants come and provide that breakfast and lunch for the kids, like Corgi's, Panda Express, and Papa John, so the kids are really loving that. Food service is so important to these kids because it gives them a chance to not only build relationships with each other when they're out here, but they are enjoying the foods that they're getting. And sometimes the kids don't have full course meals at home, so it's really important to us that at least when they're with us, we're able to provide a full meal uh, that they can enjoy both in breakfast and at lunch. I think with our school district having 75% of our students in free and reduced lunch, the ability to provide food for our families is, um, I don't even have words to put it together. It's so important for them to be able, for a six hour program, to get breakfast and to get lunch, which they may not have gotten in their own home. So again, we're incredibly uh, thankful for Think Together's contribution and creativity in being able to offer meals for our families, for families who might not have that meal. Oh yeah, for the food, you know, the kids always asking like, what are we having for lunch, what are we having for lunch? I remember the first week we had pizza on that Thursday and they were like so excited to see their own person, having their own personal pizza. And on top of that, you know, implementing prizes in the raffles that we do during lunch time, that really gets the kids excited. Um, just the summer program in general, it's been an, uh, a great experience. And you can tell with the kids, you know, they're having fun, they're smiling, you know, they're always asking questions, they're getting to know every program leader. And uh, it's amazing for me to see that and be here and experience it along with them. Seeing students back on campus is amazing. They come back, they're excited, they're smiling, they're happy just to share stories, share what they did in the day, um, and, you know, that morning with their families. And it's such a, a cool experience to be able to know that they're so resilient. It was such a great experience because we missed our kiddos. Uh, we haven't seen them for such a long time. Um, when we were here before, seeing them, they grew up so much, but it was so nice being able to see their little faces and how excited they were being able to see their friends and seeing us as well. Oh my goodness, what a blessing it is to see these kids on campus and to see their smiles. To see kids in kindergarten who I know haven't been in the classroom you know, for an entire year, to be able to see them in seats um, learning and engaging, to be able to see that energy and uh, collaboration, even though we're distanced, is incredibly powerful. Seeing their learning, um, even today, talking about the Nile River, the Egyptians, Greek philosophers, all of these incredible things that were going on, um, I'm just so impressed. But having the kids here in person, that connection, that learning is just at a different level that we just can't always get in a distance learning environment. So it's, it's amazing. It's a sneak preview of what I hope to see when we return um, in August with our regular school year. One of the groups that we love to hear from the most is our parents. We're so privileged to be able to interact with your kids and are truly grateful for the trust you put in us to supervise, mentor, and support your child each day. We know from the data that an extraordinary 99% of parents value Think Together, believe that Think Together is a safe place for their children, and trust in knowing that our staff truly care about their success. Parents, guardians, and caregivers are truly our best advocates. So let's hear from a few of them about their experiences with Think Together. Our Think Together programs are an important part of our school community and are important to us because they provide a safe and caring environment for our students to continue their learning after school. We are extremely grateful for every one of our after school team members. What do we think about the Think Together program, girls? We love it. They love the program. They actually, they do not like being absent. They love seeing their teachers. They, they have so many creative activities. They have extra time to do their homework if they didn't get to finish. Also, in case if they didn't understand a subject, 
They're wonderful tutors. After school programs are so important in our community because they help students with homework, they help them with nutrition, they help them with building social skills. For my family in particular, I work full time and my husband also works full time. Without the after school program, we would not be able to survive. We wouldn't have been able to keep our jobs and survive. As a single mom, it was hard to go to work without knowing where was I gonna leave my kids. Thanks to the after school program, I'm able to go to work knowing that my kids are in a safe place. Not just that, but they're being helped with homework when needed, learning at the same time, enjoying to be with other kids. Thank you, Think Together, for all the support you have provided. I want to uh, thank uh, Think Together and their courageous team for uh, helping our kids after school. They have provided impactful tutoring, they, uh, intervention programs, a lot of enrichment programs which our kids need now after a year and a half of being out of school. I have been a Think Together parent for about four years now. Think Together is extremely valuable to our community because it allows working parents to be worry-free knowing that their kids are in a safe and educated environment while their kids can grow in every aspect. I think it's important to have after-school programs for all students, especially parents that are working and families that need that extra support in every way possible. And the social skills are tremendous for the students. They enjoy it, they love it, and they have fun. The reason why after-school programs is are really important in the community is because we know that the environment is safe. Like no bullies, no violence and stuff like that. We know that she's learning and she is developing skills, but also she's having fun. I actually have a long history with Think Together as a parent. Uh, I was able to enroll my TK student in Think Together when it first came to our school, which really as a mother helped me feel safe that my child was going to be taken care of. And I realized how much they enjoyed the program. Think Together is a wonderful program that not only provides some homework support, but it has all of these very, very special activities that students enjoy. The students get to collaborate with each other and they learn together. They work on different sports and they have different fun activities that all of the coordinators have worked together to make it a fun time and an enjoyable time for our students to go through. As a principal, I see how much our families value the program and how much they need the support. This program provides an advantage to our kids by learning and having help to do their homework. The program also provides a safe and educational environment for our kids while we're at work. That's why this program is so valuable for us. Our Think Together community continues our PBIS and our positive behavior. In addition to giving our students the opportunity to continue coding, using their iPads and other enriching ideas. Here at California, we are very grateful for our Think Together program. To us, this program has meant the world. It's a saving grace. As middle income families, we do not have the financial resources or the income to be able to provide an appropriate daycare. Think Together, it's, it's the world. It means everything to us. Every school district should be offering it. Having them in this program, I have seen their growth. They're always telling me about the things that they learn that they created, that they built. I just want to say that Think Together couldn't get any better. I love it so much and so does my daughter. I am very grateful for what everything that Think Together has done for her and to all the kids in the program. Thank you. Hello from our Riverside County region where we serve over 23,000 students from 10 districts spanning from Temecula and Hemet to Moreno Valley and Harupa Valley. I'm Jackie Mesa, Quality Assurance Coach. At Think Together, our advocacy champions lead our grassroots campaign to raise public awareness of the vital services after school programs provide in our communities. This includes working to promote legislative action that can be done by our elected representatives to fund after school programs and help families get the education services they need to prepare the next generation for college and career. Their passion and diligence have garnered the attention of some of the state's most influential policymakers. In fact, many of you watching right now likely have received a phone call or maybe two or even been tagged in a tweet asking for your support. Each of you has the power to be an advocacy champion. Join the call for an increased legislative support in after school and request that our policymakers and community leaders ensure our kids continue to have free access to essential after school care. 
you will see a QR code appear on the screen. Please scan it with your smartphone and it will link you to a petition or click on the link description. We ask everyone who cares about kids and families who rely on after school programs to sign our Keep the Lights On petition. Thank you for your support. And now I am so proud to introduce some distinguished guests who feel as strongly about after school programs as we do. Hi, my name is Sydney Kamlogger, and I am honored to welcome you all here today to the Lights On After School Celebration right here in Los Angeles. I love the name of this, Lights On, Lights On. We know that the benefits of quality after school programs are clear and there are many. And heck, most parents don't get off of work at three o'clock. So at the very least, they're keeping our young people safe, motivated, engaged, until parents are able to leave work to pick them up. And right here in California, we have clearly seen that expanded learning is a social justice issue. All children in California, regardless of their zip code, deserve to have a safe place to go after the school bell rings. You know, because I have been one of those parents, not able to get to my child right at three o'clock, but knowing that they were in the care of adults, of mentors, of young people who cared about them. It is a joy to be with you here virtually today for the Lights On After School Celebration event, because we know that learning doesn't end when the school day ends or when the lights go off, and neither should our educational system. It is a privilege to be participating in a session dedicated to student learning programs. We want to build more opportunities to support students after school, and our goal is to keep them building year after year. By spending money on education, we are strengthening the foundation of our state. Students who are well served by extra educational programs do better in school and go on to have more choices of careers. I wanna thank you for doing the work to advocate for the students and to provide the environment they need to succeed. Hello everyone, I'm Senate President Pro Tempore Tony Atkins. After school programs have been an important part of my life. When I was a little girl growing up in Virginia, my twin sister and I would attend a breakfast club before school. It was a big help for my family. And it meant that when I got to class each morning, I could focus on the lessons instead of a growling stomach. And you all have done an amazing job this year. To the teachers, the parents, and caregivers, thank you for your tireless energy and the investment you're making in this next generation. To the students, keep up the great work. You are California's future leaders, and I can't wait to see you shine. Hi, I'm State Senator Anthony Portentino. We know that learning doesn't stop when the bell rings. It continues all day and after school programs are really important for expanded learning, enrichment, and we have to do everything we can and you're doing it. So thank you for your dedication to our young people and congratulations on this great event. All children in California, regardless of zip code, deserve to have a safe place to go after the school bell rings. Think Together provides that safe place for hundreds of thousands of children and youth across California. As we recover from the pandemic, we have the opportunity to create a more inclusive and equitable public education system for our children. I cannot begin to express my gratitude for the amazing work that Think Together provides the families in my district, as well as all of California. And that is why I am honored to be able to join in celebrating and acknowledging their essential role in our communities. So let's continue to keep the lights on in our after school programs. Well, why I like Think Together is because like the teachers help you very well with your homework. I love playing, I love practicing, mostly doing my homework. You get lots of exercise once you do catch. So it's fun tango with friends. They teach you lots of new stuff like you learn about Black History on Black History Month for enrichment. They help me like, with the problems, how to like, explain it. I should say about Miss Nicole, she's very kind and she's very funny. I re recommend to go to think together because it's very fun, it's very educational, 
but just don't get in trouble. That's what I, rec I recommend. <laughs> Today, we stand together with our state, our school partners, and our supporters at a transformational moment in education. With investments made by our California policymakers and the support of our philanthropic donors, we're able to change the odds for those two million kids who need it the most. Among those supporters has been Governor Gavin Newsom, who has been a champion of keeping the lights on for after-school providers like Think Together. In the spring of 2020, in response to the pandemic, Governor Newsom provided flexibility to ACEs and 21st century grant programs to expand access to childcare for essential workers, including healthcare, law enforcement, and public safety personnel. Then, in March 2021, our governor signed AB 86, providing $4.6 billion for expanded learning opportunity grants to assist local education agencies with reopening schools safely and implement learning recovery programs in response to learning loss experienced by our young people amid the ongoing pandemic. And finally, Governor Newsom, through his California Roars Back plan, took action to transform schools into gateways of opportunity for the state's most at-promise students through a historic investment in after-school programs, $1.75 billion, growing to $5 billion by 2025, to expanded learning and enrichment opportunities through after-school and summer programs. This revolutionary budget package was made possible because of the stewardship of this legislation by Senate Pro Tem Tony Atkins and Assembly Speaker Anthony Rendon, as well as the unwavering support of Governor Newsom, who signed SB 129 in July 2021. This is an exemplary story of determination, collaboration, and grit from the grassroots efforts of our staff, students, families, and communities, all the way up to the top legislators and educators in California. And now it is my honor to introduce Governor Gavin Newsom. Hey everybody, it's Governor Gavin Newsom here. I just wanna say hello to the Think Together students, families, and school leaders that are gathered uh, here today. I'm honored to be with you to celebrate the impact of after-school programs all across our nation, but especially right here at home in the Golden State. Now look, it goes without saying, after-school programs have long supported California families, providing safe and supportive environments for students, expanding new opportunities for them to learn, to grow and excel. In the years past after school programs though, let's be honest, have struggled to even keep the lights on while we're trying to keep up with extraordinary demand. Your America After 3 p.m. report only highlighted that, and demonstrated overwhelmingly, showed that for every child in an after school program, three children are waiting to get in. That just is not gonna continue to work. So this pandemic, uh, hopefully has enlivened all of us to recognize that what was further exposed in terms of how important these programs are, uh, that it will allow us to actually do something about it. So allow students to, to stay connected and get the academic, social, and emotional support that they deserve, not just what they need, but what they deserve. So we just can't sit back idly and hope that our kids have access to these vital programs. We talk decade after decade, and that's why this year, we're doing things a little differently. And that's really what I wanted to share with all of you. That's why we took decisive action to support our after school programs. And we didn't just support it rhetorically, but we've invested $5 billion over the next few years to increase opportunities, create slots for students. Uh, that's unprecedented. That's an after school for all universal program commitment. $5 billion over the next few years to create those opportunities. By the way, we've already seen roughly three quarters of school districts expand their after school programs. That's good progress, but it's, as I say, just the beginning. It's not just slots, it's quality. And so we're looking forward to getting more schools and those state resources needed to provide these vital uh, resources for our students. Look, I'm proud of After School Fall Alliance. I wanna thank Think Together for the work that you're already well, they continue to do, leading alongside all the expanded learning providers in our state to, to make our world, not just our state and our nation, a better place for our children. So thank you for having me here today. Sorry to be so long-winded. Uh, and I hope all of you enjoy uh, this year's Lights On After School. Thank you, Governor Newsom, and all of our special guests for advocating on behalf of students throughout California. It is with your support that we are able to continue to change the odds for kids 
And now it's time to wrap up our Lights On celebration. Our voices have fought hard throughout the years to protect children's access to quality, no-cost after-school programs, knowing that our students need that safe and nurturing environment that also elevates their education and helps them achieve their dreams of college and career. And the parents, they need peace of mind to know that their child is safe so that they can continue to work and provide for their families. Just by watching today, you're part of our community. So whether you're new to Think Together family or a longtime advocate, we are so happy you were with us for this special annual celebration. We applaud your commitment to protecting after-school funding in the California budget for students who need us most. To learn more about Think Together and how our after-school programs are lighting the way, please visit thinktogether.org or email us at info at thinktogether.org. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate Lights on After School and have a wonderful evening.